Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a, another Halloween design slash look and I have come up with three spooky torn skin nails. They are so freaking creepy. I'll put a thing on screen so you guys can see it obviously up close. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to show you guys this design. I think it looks super spooky. You could have it as an accent nail, so one of the nails or two, or you could do a full set and it'd look absolutely bomb for Halloween. If you wanna see how I created this look and you wanna see how to create spooky, ripped skin Halloween nails, then just keep on watching and let's get straight into it. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Right, right. Okay, so getting straight into the video, I am going to be working on practice tips. So I picked up a, another one of the stands with the metal kind of holders from Glitter Planet. And I just love using this to work on. And I especially love this one because the metal parts are actually metal. They are not plastic. Um, there's nothing wrong with the plastic ones, but I just find over time with getting product on them and stuff, they just get a bit ruined. These ones stay better for longer. So I'm just prepping that, getting it ready with some blue tack, white tack, whatever it's called. I know it's called different things in different countries because some people have no idea what I'm using when I'm sticking this onto the holders. But yeah, it's just like a blue tack or a white tack. Um, it might be called something different in your country. If it is, let me know. Um, then I'm pressing on my practice tips to the stand and that's what we're going to be working on. So I'm kind of speeding up this first part because I'm just applying my base colours. So I'm coming in first with mahogany which is this gorgeous deep brown kind of warm toned brown colour. I'm applying that to the entire nail. Now this is one of our new acrylics in the neutral kind of um, section I would say and I just absolutely love it it's so creamy and buttery to work with as are our others but when you are developing and creating matte colors with no shimmer to get that creamy consistency and to get them to work beautifully is a little bit more tricky and I think we really hit the nail on the head with these they are so so buttery soft and smooth and I freaking love them so this one is honey so to create the texture of the skin first we need to of course add the base so that is basically what I'm doing with these three tips first I'm preparing the nails and I'm applying the neutral or nude acrylics as the base color and then we're going to work with our tears and our ripped skin and the blood on top of that so you want to go ahead get your nails prepped get your clear base down and get your nude acrylic on there because this is going to be freaking bomb and your nails are going to look so freaking spooky this holiday season Anyway, this is how my tips are looking now. I've got my three colours. We've got toasted rose, mahogany and honey. How stunning. Can we just appreciate? Thank you. Yes. A round of applause. Honestly, I just love neutrals. They are so freaking pretty. I do love rainbows and glitter as well. You guys know, always. Now, if it was me and I was going to wear this on my nails or just as a thought, it's literally just popped into my head. Um... You could easily do what I'm doing in this full tutorial and then add some red holographic glitter to the blood areas and, well, that would be super glam and gory, which I love. I might actually have to do that. Um, anyway, we're getting into the video. So I'm a bit further away at the minute. I'm going to zoom in in just a second because I thought you guys are not going to be able to see all the way from here unless you've got a cinema TV in your house and you're going to project it onto that. I'm going to have to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. But basically, I'm using the number five 3D brush and I'm working super wet with my acrylic. I'm trailing it on the nail. So I'm picking up a wet bead and then I'm kind of sweeping it onto the nail and trailing it and just let it come off my brush kind of naturally. Um, and I'm also using it like a bit of a paint so once it's on the nail because I've used such a wet consistency I'm able to move and sculpt it around for such a long time until I'm happy with it until I have it placed where I want it and then I can start forming the shape and manipulating it so you want to pick up these small beads just with a 3d brush 
use a very wet consistency and just trail it onto that nail. Don't worry about the fact that it's causing some texture on the other parts of the nails. We can resolve that later on. The main focus of this part is just to get those raised areas to look like the skin has been torn up or scratched or shredded um, and just make it look raised and gruesome and at this point you do want to keep in mind whereabouts you're going to be placing the blood so for me i'm placing it in between both of the lines that i'm applying um and some underneath as well so do be mindful of that because it can determine as to where you apply the raised areas of acrylic so now that my acrylic has started setting more, I'm coming with my brush. I'm making sure that I haven't got any liquid in there um, because that can kind of, um, I wouldn't say re kind of make the acrylic. Uh, what am I trying to say? It won't reactivate the acrylic into making it less hard or less set because it's setting. There's nothing that can really stop that, but it will kind of distort your view on the products that you're working with because it'll just saturate it with liquid and it just becomes less easy to see. So I remove the liquid from my brush by just pressing it onto that paper towel. Obviously you do want to make sure you are cleaning it between um, using it on the nail as well, just to avoid any clogging up of product in the bristles which is quite common if you are new to 3d work or even just applying acrylics um, and then you're going to work by pressing and moving that product around so moving on to the honey nail um, basically let me just tell you where we're going with this i'm going to do all three nails and get them to a point where we are going to be applying the blood and then we'll go back to the first one and start applying the blood section I hope that makes sense. This video is a bit all over the place, but I really wanted to incorporate three different types of skin tones, three different types of kind of placement of the shredded skin. And this one, I thought, you know how cool it would be to do like a smile line that's not really there, but that's been like kind of ripped up. Do you know what I'm saying? And yes, I could have definitely done a French tip on here. However, that's not what I was originally going for, but it would also look absolutely bomb if you were to add the white at the end and then do this over the top. It would look sick. All right, let's just be honest. Um, but yeah, I've trailed that product and this is what you want to do. You want to get nice wet beads, trail the product with the nail mate system. It is beginner friendly as well as um, professional friendly as well. So if you are a beginner, it is a little bit slower setting. So you're going to have that... Um, a little bit of extra time to work with the product but especially because we are using it at a wetter consistency it's going to give you even more time to work with it as it'll take a little bit longer to set once i've got it in position i'm using the belly of the brush as you saw i flattened down um the acrylic towards the free edge and it gave us that lip and i'm then coming back in with my brush to lift and pick up the acrylic from the nail creating this wavy torn kind of edging which looks super super cool <clears throat> excuse me every time i come and do a voiceover i get like a dry throat i'm just so enthusiastic and excited about all these creations that i don't know I just don't know how to stop talking and it kind of, you know, it causes me that issue. But anyway, nonetheless, let's carry on. Okay, so once you've got your raised areas applied using acrylic, you can do it two ways. You can apply a matte top coat to smooth everything out, or you cannot. Um, if you want everything super smooth, then this would be the way to do it, but I will show you on the others. I'm not going to do that, and it still looks absolutely fab. Um, but yeah, just applying a matte top coat. I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds, and then I will wipe off the excess layer and then we can move on to the next step which is adding some detail 
I'm just going to use the safe scrub to remove the tacky layer off this top coat, the safe scrub. Can we just appreciate the new scent is stunning, smells super fresh, absolutely love it. Um, anyway, moving on to the next step, I'm using the Blackout Solid Black Acrylic and the Detailer Brush again, the number 5 um, 3D brush, sorry. And I'm just coming in to the areas where I'm going to be applying blood. I wanted to add depth. I didn't want to just go in with red because that is going to just look not as detailed and as gory. You want to create that layered effect, that depth, that bit of clotted blood that just looks super gruesome. So by layering up colours and just having a play with different like acrylic and gel, that's how you're going to get more of a realistic effect and be more gruesome. So now that I've applied the black acrylic on this nail, I'm going to come in and I'm using red velvet, which is a deep, true red acrylic powder. And I'm working in layers. So I'm applying a thinner layer to start with of the black and slightly coming past the black as well, because that's going to give us like the blood stained and raw skin look. Um, and again, you want to work with this quite wet. We don't want to be building super thick kind of blood that's just protruding from the skin because that is not what happens unless it's literally spraying out, um, which is in some horror films, I'm not going to lie. So you probably could do it like that if you really wanted, but good luck doing your hair. Um, anyway. You want to work in small layers and build it up nicely. So we're going to do a thin wash of red to start with. We're going to allow that to set and then we're going to come in again with that red and add some more, but this time in a much thicker consistency. As you can see, I'm also coming in with that red and dabbing it and pressing it onto the outer skirts of where the wounds are and this is just going to make the skin look sore and gruesome and like basically it's just been attacked by a wolf or whatever um this halloween night darlings you know what i'm saying as i said this is the next step i'm coming in with that acrylic again but this time i'm taking some of the liquid out of the back of the brush which is going to make it a bit more opaque and i'm layering it up even further to make it more red Once this acrylic dries down as well, it will become slightly dark and it won't look as red, but that's where we're going to come in with our gel polish mixture of clear black and red and really highlight that blood effect on the nail within the cuts and also the surrounding areas as well. So if you feel like yours isn't looking quite so spooky and gruesome, persevere with it and just stick with it because by the time you've applied all of the processes it will look pretty awesome i can assure you now it's just a slow kind of process of building up and at the beginning you're like is this actually going to look okay or does it just look terrible and honestly just keep at it it will work it's just making sure you get all of those layers in and adding all of the details so I came in, you saw I added a bit more red acrylic just up at the top, so you could do that around the cuticles, and again, that will make it look really gruesome and sore without it actually being sore, do you know what I mean? We don't want any painful nails here or cuticles, <laughs> all for dramatic effect and part of costumes, please. Um, anyway, I'm coming in with the black acrylic again. As, as you can see, I'm using it really wet, and I'm just trailing it and pushing it into the crevices of where I've got that raised acrylic, and it's just going to create more depth and dimension and shadowing. Now the shadowing and the highlighting with the blood and the gel is what is going to make this look pop and really bring it to life and give it that detail. It's going to make it look like that skin is shredded and that the skin's kind of overlapping and then you've got that depth of shadow under there. So it's important that you do add those steps in there as well to make it as effective as possible. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I know it's a lengthy one, but I wanted to explain all parts 
in detail so that you guys can really follow along and see how it looks and turns out and of course I wanted to do three different types we've got the darker the medium and the lighter skin tones of course you can have anywhere in between you could even do it on green that would look absolutely banging like a Frankenstein one I did do something similar a few years back and it looked freaking bomb um, I might do that again I might revisit that and make it even better um, but yeah, I'm just working on, as you can see, applying that wet acrylic, like super, super um, watered down. Obviously not with water. When I say watered down, I mean with the monomer to make it really diluted and translucent. So I'm moving on to the nail that has toasted rolls. And I'm basically going to follow the same steps. I'm coming in with the black acrylic in the cuts first. I'm then going to layer over the top with that red acrylic. A nice wash of it to start with just to get the feel of how it's going to look and how it's going to turn out. And then we'll go on the outside of the cuts to make the skin look raw. A bit more red, a bit more kind of like, you know, angry. Like it's just been attacked and it's, it's gory. And it's got its guts everywhere, you know. This is where we're going with it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to follow the same steps on this nail. Just to show you guys another variation of it and another placement. And how effective it can look depending on where you apply and place the cuts as well. I think three kind of slashes down the middle would also look amazing. It'll look like a wolf or a werewolf has kind of, you know, scratched down the middle of the nail. I think that looked banging. Or even Wolverine. Imagine if you were going to be Wolverine this Halloween and you did that on your nails. Like, damn. The ideas are just flooding in. Um, yeah, coming in with that wet acrylic again. Super diluted. And just washing it at the corner of the nail again to make it look angry, red and sore and just a little bit dishevelled. And then I'm going to do the same thing around the higher... Well, sorry around the edge where the raised acrylic is that we applied first. Now I've got my toasted rose nail up to speed, we're going to move on to the honey acrylic nail. Now this one is the smile line that's been ripped up and I wasn't sure if this was going to turn out how I wanted it because I didn't do the tip white but I still feel like it did turn out really, really gruesome and really awesome. So again, we've already applied the raised acrylic, I'm happy with that. I'm coming in with the black and really tucking it underneath that area and just pulling it down the nail slightly. Again, it is very diluted with a lot of monomer and just a small amount of acrylic and then picking up the red and I've applied that over the top of the black and I've come up and over the top of that rug rugged kind of skin flap that we've created there for the smile line um, which I think just added to the effect and the soreness I'm then running that down the free edge of the nail. I wanted it to be bloody and gruesome and like it's just been ripped off that nail. Um, I think it worked. I think it looked really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm doing it up at the cuticle area as well. I mean, there's not really much to explain because... I've explained it already, I'm doing three types of the same nail. The only thing that's really different is the composition and placement of the acrylic and the overall finished result because of the placement is different. So it just depends on kind of what you're going for but the options and the designs are literally endless with this type of look. You could create anything and it'd look amazing. Like imagine a heart shape and then that kind of oozing loads of blood yes please like Halloween let's get to it okay so this is where we're at this is just with the acrylic applied I have done the matte top coat on the middle nail and the honey one on the left as well I think I think I have if I haven't it's fine I've definitely done it on the middle one um, but yeah this is where I'm at and this is how they are looking I haven't applied any gloss 
any red gel as of yet that's what we're going to do next so all we've done is built up those layers we've made it look sore we've made the skin look ripped we've made it look gruesome we've added the shadows and now it's time to come in and add the final touch which is that glossy red dripping blood so let's mix up our concoction it's simply a red gel polish i'm using the nail mate gel polish which is the best i'm not gonna lie it's the best um, i'm using poppy i'm using midnight for the black and i actually mixed it with top coat i usually would have used base coat but for some reason i can't find it i feel like i've taken it somewhere and i've not brought it back but the top coat is fine anyway because it has a tacky layer even if it didn't it would be fine um because i'm just doing it for design i'm not applying it to the natural nail so here we go i'm applying these on my palette just a small blob you don't need to decanter a lot of product onto this um because you can always add more if you need more but you can't put it back in to save it because you're just going to contaminate your product if you do that so definitely decanter less and then add more if you need it The brush that I'm using is the Nail Mate Detailer, which is this double-sided brush which comes with caps. It is the finest detail brush ever. It's made with, I don't know why I said that, I said ever instead of ever. But anyway, I had to correct myself there. It's made with synthetic hairs as well, so it is suitable for um, vegans because it doesn't have any animal hairs. It's made with synthetic hairs, which are obviously not animal hairs. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd highlight that there because not many people are sure about that or know about that. Okay, so we're coming in with the gel and here we go. We're going to add the gore. I'm basically mixing up and going to be applying this over the top of the proper cuts. So we're going in there. I've got a mix of all three. So we've got kind of a sheer color because I've mixed the red and the black with the clear and that's kind of allowing the underneath acrylic to still come through and give us that depth and it's kind of creating the illusion of clotted like old gory blood and I'm going over the most highest parts and also the reddest parts as well and that's just going to really make it look like a really deep cut so I'm doing that with the detailer brush and just obviously taking a look at the nail seeing if I want to add any other details in that area I'm flash curing that so everything stays into position and then we're going to move on to the next nail and continue the same process so I'm going to do that on all of the nails another thing that you do want to do at this point as well obviously I'm flash curing some of them I kind of worked a bit backwards on this um, video everything was all over the place and it kind of went back and forth from each nail I've tried to piece it together as best as possible so that it flows for you guys as you are watching it but me trying to do the voiceover for it is a bit all over the place because as I said I'm kind of piecing it all together um, but yeah adding all of that mixture into the cut area is going to make it look deep and really wounded but then we're going to come to the outside of that and add some kind of blood to those other areas as well which is going to add more detail and more depth to the design and of course more horror and gruesome feels because that is what it's about I really loved adding the gel to these nails it just brought it to life like it properly finished it off and made it look super spooky and Halloweeny and that's what I'm saying like when you're doing a design and you've got something in your head or you want to create something try and follow it through to the end because although during the process you might think what is going on like the end result can sometimes turn out absolutely bomb sometimes it doesn't but most of the time it probably will if you are working on a client, I can recommend that you practice beforehand on a couple of tips just so you've got the design down in your head because you wouldn't want to do it on a client and you was not happy with it or the client wasn't happy. Do you know what I mean? So it is, if you are trying something new, it is recommended or I do recommend that you practice on a tip beforehand. 
and plus then you can show your clients in person so they can like really see the effects of how it's going to look as well so i'm adding some blood drops to this nail and i'm going to add some blood at the other areas of this nail as well not just where the skin is and that's going to really make it gruesome and like the blood is just being splattered all over the nails So I'm curing that one in the light that I've just done and I'm moving back onto the first nail that I started and I already applied, as you saw, the blood into the cuts. I'm now coming in with some of the black gel and just adding some shadows and I'm also using the mixture of the clear, the red and the black to add some more blood in other areas that's just going to make it look a bit more not uniformed because if you had a cut like this it's not just going to particularly be in that one area so I wanted to kind of spread it around and make it a little bit more realistic and more effective and gruesome. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and cure that in the light and I'm going to do that for the other nails as well. And you can see how much more detail and how much more gruesome it looks just by adding those extra bits of blood in the areas that kind of need it. And if you are worried about like, oh, where shall I put it? Just do a little bit at a time and kind of hold it back and assess the design. And that way you can't kind of get overrun by it. But also remember that with working with gel and adding those details afterwards, if you're not happy with it, you can just wipe it off Um and start it again if you haven't cured it of course that's why I do recommend that once you are happy with the layer to cure it in the light and then start the next one After you've done that you want to go ahead and apply a no wipe top coat just to the blooded areas to protect that from um, wearing down make sure it stays super glossy and super fabulous and that is the final look I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video I enjoyed putting it together although my filming and everything was a little bit crazy it might have been a little bit long winded but hopefully you guys have learned something hopefully you try this out if you do tag me on Instagram at ninja nail fairy and I hope you enjoyed this video Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to share it into all the nail groups that you're in and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. Just share, share, share. I really, really appreciate it and it helps me out so much. It keeps me motivated and makes me want to make more content because I just love that you guys are enjoying watching as well. As always, please remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. See you later, alligator. Okay. Let's take these gloves off now. I'm gonna get my nails done. I don't even know why I just did that, but. Bish.